Hello and welcome back to another episode of Baxter's Buzz. I am your host, Baxter E. Hall. Welcome to my brain. Welcome to my frequency. Enter at your own risk. Now, again, as we approach the holidays, uh, I just want to say thank you for all of your support. Please continue to uh, share, uh, comment, rate um, on iTunes. And also, you know, let's uh, let's continue to get to grow the audience. Um, I found out through uh, Spotify that my podcast is listened to in three different countries, which is pretty cool. Not sure how often, but hey, uh, you got to start somewhere. So that was pretty, pretty cool news to hear. Um, today I want to talk about um, something that that I feel very strongly about, and that's journaling. I think about um, my brain and the way I process things, and I have so much on my mind at, at times that I can't sort of make any sense of it. So uh, you know, you don't always have um, people to kind of talk through things with, um, you know, I do a lot of praying, uh, but I also do my best to, to journal and write these things down so that I can sort of organize my thoughts, um, or organizing your thoughts, like in, in writing helps, you know, helps you, you know, it can be therapeutic. You may not know how you're feeling until you start writing and you start to look at the words on, your, on the page and, and sometimes they'll just start to flow out. Right. Um, it'll also help you track progress from prior days, prior weeks, prior years. Um, you know, these days, you know, most of us have social media. If you guys ever looked at a memory, uh, something that you've posted and you know, on Facebook and said, man, I don't remember what I was going through at that time. Or man, I, I remember exactly what I was going through. Thank God I'm not there anymore. I think that it's important to document uh, your journey. It helps you today because it helps you organize those thoughts. Um, it can be, you know, be very therapeutic to help you kind of uh, help articulate how you're feeling at the time. And it's always amazing to look back and see the progress that you've made. And another really cool thing is um, being able to document these feelings, these things that are going on, and maybe even um, sort of turn those into uh, stories or a different creative projects in the future. You know, I think about some of the random things that, that the kids do. And when I'm able to write them down, um, it, it's nice because as funny as it is today on a Thursday, um, that doesn't mean you're going to remember tomorrow because they do kind of cool stuff every day or, or, or something cool to happen to you at work or a cool conversation that you had. The more you can document, the more uh, sort of a, an archive you can retrieve from if you want to just reminisce, if you want to, like I said, turn that into some sort of some sort of creative project. You have those things documented. Um, anyone who believes that they can remember every single thing is um, kind of fooling themselves. So just some words of advice. Continue to document or document, journal, and get those thoughts out. Um, pray. And and sometimes that are, that's not enough. And if you need to go and seek help and talk to um, a professional, you know, don't hesitate to do that if that's uh, the route that you believe that you need. So I'm uh, wishing you all well. And until next time, peace.